Having your imperfections and flaws plastered across millions of TV screens on a weekly basis can surely bring up one's insecurities. You can you use, use a blue trim down on those yeah. doggy, uh, doggy teeth. Don't worry about it. Millionaire matchmaker Patty Stanger told Life & Style magazine that plastic surgery is actually a must for everyone that appears on TV. And anyone who says they've never had anything done is full of ish. For some television personalities, these slight adjustments help boost their confidence, and of course, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But in some cases, it's never just one tweak, and there's always a chance that these easy fixes can turn into a lifetime addiction. As for Nene Leakes, she's had one of the most drastic transformations we've ever seen. And just when we think she's done with all of her physical alterations, she pops back up with another procedure. So the question is, when is enough enough? Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into her plastic surgery journey. But before we get into it, don't forget to scoop up something to nibble on from rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of lemon pepper beef jerky, green apple licorice, and cookies and cream popcorn. When Nene made her first appearance on The Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2008, viewers and her co-stars went in on her looks. So it was no surprise that Nene visited Beverly Hills cosmetic dentist Dr. Sam Saleh to obtain a million-dollar smile. In a 2010 video recorded for Extra, the doctor said Nene's transformation took place during three different visits, where he put porcelain veneers on her top and bottom teeth, increased the length of her teeth, and whitened her smile. Needless to say, Nene was thrilled with the results. You need to get your mother teeth fixed. How about that? They're done. They're done. They're done. Uh, you're, They're you're done. done. With her new megawatt smile, she was finally content with her appearance. Or not. In April 2010, she told People magazine she underwent liposuction on her stomach and a nose job to narrow her nostrils. She justified her nose procedure by telling Bravo TV exec Andy Cohen, I didn't love my nose, and I wanted to do my nose to make it more beautiful for myself. That wasn't it, though. She also reduced her Double D milk wagons down to a D cup. The surgery was also filmed for an episode of Atlanta Housewives. Nene admitted to People magazine that she was a bit vain and was in need of a tune-up. She added, I still wanted to look like Nene, the black woman that I am, but a better version. After all those procedures, Nene was done with plastic surgery, right? Uh-uh. Wrong. Less than a year later, a source close to the reality star told Radar Online that Nene was determined to undergo more liposuction to have a flatter tummy. So what's up with the repeated need for liposuction? Well, doctors in the U.S. are only allowed to take out a certain amount of fat during each procedure, which equates to about two to four liters. If a person has more fat that they need to get rid of, they can try to eliminate it through diet and exercise, or they can go back under the knife at a later time. This is why some people choose to get lipo in foreign countries because the guidelines are less strict and doctors can go ham during the removal process. Now, why was Nene so hell-bent on getting more work done instead of sitting down somewhere and being happy with her results? Well, the insider told Radar Online that despite being loud and confident in public, Nene allegedly suffered from self-image issues for a while. The insider added, She has always wanted to be famous, and now that she is, those insecurities have been heightened for her to look perfect. Through our research, we discovered that getting free procedures in exchange for social media promotion is as easy as a reality star sliding into a plastic surgeon's DMs. And because Nene has tagged many of her surgeons in her social media posts, it's likely that she received some of her procedures for free, or at a discount at least. For a public figure that might be dealing with self-image issues, this could be a recipe for disaster. Celebrity Big Brother contestant Nicola McLean warned her fellow reality stars to be cautious when accepting discounted services because it's easy to go overboard when doctors are handing out free lipo like Tic Tacs. In the following years, Nene swore she had slowed down with the plastic surgery procedures, although her face looked noticeably different in 2013. Many people assumed she had gotten a facelift, but Nene told the Huffington Post, I'm in my early 40s. I don't need a facelift. Honey, I am black. She also denied rumors that she had gotten Botox and stated she just happened to have no wrinkles due to genetics. So did she close the door on getting more work done? 
Nope. In 2016, fans speculated that Nene was messing with her nose again. She confirmed on an episode of Watch What Happens Live that her fans were right. She had undergone another nose procedure. This time it was done for a medical reason. Nene said her cartilage was growing and the tip of her nose was touching the top of her lip, so she had surgery to get some of the cartilage moved around. Nene added that the criticism she received on social media was out of control. People were constantly judging her and picking her appearance apart. However, she didn't care what people had to say. She stated, I got my nose done first of all because I can and I will, and I will get it done again if I want to, okay? She took a break from the procedures, and when her husband Greg was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in May 2018, Nene took some time to reflect on any future procedures. She told Bravo TV that she no longer wanted to get anything done that would require her to be put to sleep, and she was leaning more toward non-invasive procedures. And besides, by that point, she was happy with all of her physical changes. She told the Jasmine brand that every flaw she had, she had already fixed. But was it all cap? Apparently so. During a September 2019 appearance on The Wendy Williams Show, Nene said there were lots of things that she wanted to tweak. My boobs, I would do my boobs again. Okay. Probably, I would tweak my nose again. What? I might get a little booty or something, you think? No, I don't like that. I got hips, and I think when you got hips and then you had booty too, you like a wide truck. I don't have hips. In the summer of 2020, Nene took to her Instagram to announce that she was ready to spill the tea regarding rumors that she had been fired from the Bravo reality series. Her post backfired when the picture she included with the post made fans speculate if she had bleached her skin and if she was trying to morph into a white woman. This wouldn't be the first time people accused her of trying to transform herself from Nene to Nancy. Some fans have begged her to ditch the blonde hair and return to her natural hair color as well. As far as Nene wanting to morph into a white woman, well, she has always made it clear that she's black and proud. But she once told the Grio website, I am black white honey. I know how to be black and I can be very white if I needed to be. Uh, okay. Greg passed away in September 2021, and two months later, Nene was back in a doctor's office. She underwent a facial balancing treatment that included fillers in her jawline and chin for a sharper profile. The facility showed pictures of her before and after, so yeah, you already know what that means. It's very likely that Nene received a discount for this procedure as well. Of course, social media users went for the jugular after the unedited photos were shared, and some people were shocked to see the old surgery scars on her nostrils from her first nose job. A month after that treatment, Nene stepped out with her new boyfriend. As of this video, they're still going strong. During the pandemic, surgeons saw an overwhelming spike in the demand for BBLs, also known as the Brazilian butt lift. For those of you who are unaware, the surgery includes a doctor transferring fat from the abdomen, hips, lower back, or thighs and pumping it into the buttocks. The demand for this particular surgery was blamed in part on people in quarantine being influenced by the scrumptious man-made booties they saw while spending countless hours on social media apps. The number one way that a patient finds a plastic surgeon today is through social media presence. Many people also had extra cash to blow during this time due to the government's STEMI checks and other pandemic-related assistance. Doctors were also offering discounted services. And Care Credit, which is a special healthcare-focused credit card, helped cover the remaining cost. Data from the Aesthetic Society website shows 44,725 BBLs were performed in 2020, and that number jumped to 61,387 procedures in 2021. That's a whole lot of booties. In 2022, Nene visited a Georgia plastic surgery center and inquired about receiving 360 liposuction, a procedure that performs lipo across multiple areas of the body to achieve an even and balanced look. But after consulting with the doctor on staff, she decided to join the Big Booty Brigade. The fat that was removed from her stomach, back, and sides was placed into her behind in a procedure that Nene described as a professional mini BBL. 
She documented the journey on her Instagram account, and she gave her followers a code so they could receive $100 off their plastic surgery consultation at the same facility. So yeah, you already know that means there's a strong possibility that Nene got the procedure done for free in exchange for promoting the plastic surgery center. As of this video, Nene has chilled out with the procedures and is spending her time helping her son Brent through his recovery after he suffered a stroke in November 2022. Maybe Nene will stop while she's ahead, or perhaps she will undergo another nip-tuck in the future. Either way, we wish her nothing but the best. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.